In this lecture, we will be covering lists, tuples, and dictionary. These are known as sequence types in Python. We will be starting with list. So here you can see I have created a list using the rectangular brackets. And this is like a sequence of elements, one, two, three, four, five, stored inside this variable called num, which you can see is of type list. The list basically provides us mutable function. So you can basically go ahead and change any of the values that resides in the list using the index position. So if I have to change the value 1 to 10, I'll say num 0 because that's the index position of 1 equals 10. And when I loop through this, it will print 10 instead of 1. Now with tuple, you can see that I've commented this line because tuples are immutable. So if I try doing this, I'll be getting an error saying that this cannot be changed. So let's go ahead and run this now to see num and tuple in action. And here you can see it says at line number 7, tuple 0 equals 7, object does not support item assignment. So this is something which cannot be done when it comes to tuple. Now with range, we can also create lists. But again, range is also immutable. So you cannot do any kind of assignment with range. So here you can see there are three parameters that we are passing to a range function. Now these two are optional parameters. When you specify all three, the first one means start with this. The second one means the end item. So range basically prints one item less than the one specified over here in the second parameter. So if it's 10, it will go till 9. And then this one becomes the increment. So it says that start with 1, keep incrementing by 2 till you reach this value. So basically, it's going to print till 9. So now that I've commented it, let's run it one more time. And here at the end, which starts with R, you'll notice that it goes till 9. And here it starts with 1. Adds 2 to it, 3, then 5, then 7, then 9. So kind of odd numbers. Now, if you want to assign something to the range, in that case, what you can do is convert this range to a list. So now we have a list. And this list can then be used. So in the first place, let's say I want to put 8. And now, when I will run this one, you will see the output. R is 8. So that way you can use range and then convert it to a list to make it mutable and then go ahead with the assignment. Now, there is one more type called dictionary. Now, dictionary is key value pair. So I can say dict equals, let's say a as 1 and then b as 2 and then c as 3. So this is a dictionary object and dictionaries are also mutable. So if I have to say this dict of c so C here is the key. Using the key, we are making changes to the dictionary value. So here I will say 5. And now I can again go ahead and use the for loop. But here the for loop will be a bit different. So we will say for and then key value in dict dot items will loop through so we'll say print and we'll make use of the format function here we'll say key is equal to key and then we'll say value equals to val save this and now let's run this and here you can see 
output is coming as key A value 1, key B value 2, key C value 5. So that was lists, tuples and dictionary in Python.